Hi guys, Dr. Jillard again. Let's go over the frontal bone more in depth now. now. If you haven't looked at the other videos, and if you need to go through them where I compare the visceral skeletal or visceral cranium versus the neural cranium. But here we go. This is the frontal bone. So this is the frontal bone. It has three parts. Uh, everything above this line, so all of this is all considered squamous with a caveat, so this is all squamous. Anything below this line, so this part, that's considered the nasal portion of the frontal bone. And if we turn the bone to the side here, we see one more process right here. So this is called the zygomatic process of the frontal bone because it articulates with the zygomatic bone. Now. I think you can see quite nicely. There is a ridge coming off here. That's called the temporal line, which is important because everything above it is all squamous, and everything below it, all of this region, that's the temporal portion of the frontal bone. Now there's one more portion of the frontal bone. I'll put the camera up like this, see if I can get some more light in there for you. Okay, so this is the orbit of the eye. We'll do a separate tape on that. But all of the roof of the frontal bone, uh, all, all of the roof of the orbit is made up of frontal bone. So this is the orbital portion of the frontal bone. Okay, uh, now we have some sutures we need to talk about. First, the nasal part of the frontal bone has some sutures. So we have a maxilla, it's right here. So there's an articulation with the maxilla, specifically the frontal, port, the frontal process of the maxilla right through here. So this is called, and when, when it comes to naming, the frontal bone has a lot of power, so it always goes first. So this is the frontal maxillary suture. Uh, we have a articulation with the nasal bone. The other one's been removed, but there's a nasal bone here. This would be the frontal nasal suture. Okay, if we look inside the orbit, we can also see an articulation all across here with the lesser and greater wing of the sphenoid. Okay, so that all of that is called the frontal sphenoid suture, frontal sphenoid suture. It also articulates here, okay, the lateral part of the orbit with the zygomatic bone, so that's called the frontal zygomatic suture. If we follow that to the outside, it's also called the frontal zygomatic suture. Although some texts have called it the zygomatical frontal suture. Uh, Gray's and some of the bigger ones, frontal kind of gets the, uh, goes first. Frontal zygomatic suture. Okay. Now the easy one here, you've probably heard of this one again. Well, let's hit this again. We did this already, but remember this bone? That's the greater wing of the sphenoid, the temporal surface. So we have a suture here, which is continuous with the orbital part. So it's still frontal sphenal suture. Frontal sphenal suture. We have an articulation here. You guys probably know this one. This is the coronal suture. Okay, I think that gets them all. Uh, now we have uh, two special areas uh, where the frontal bones connect, or where the nasal part of the frontal bone connects to the nasal bones, right in here. We have a special region called the nasion. Nasion. Remember the other frontal bone is gone, right? Just so I can see in the nasal cavity. And if we tip the skull over, we can see, what's the suture again? That, of course, is the coronal suture. This is the sagittal suture that joins the parietal bones. So where they meet, right here, has a special name. That's called the brigma. And in the infant skull, that represents the what? The anterior fontanelle. All right, so I think that should do it with the frontal bone. Oh, there's a couple, couple more parts here. 
let's not forget a couple more bumps here. Um, so I don't know if you can see these very good or not, but there is a bump right here. You can see these, especially in women, you can see, see these better. There's little, two little bumps here. Those are called the frontal tubers or frontal eminences. And then there's a kind of a bony eyebrow, if you will. And that's called the superciliary arch. Superciliary arch. One on each side. Between the superciliary arches is another raised part of bone right here. That's called the glabella. Glabella. The only other thing I want to say is uh, in maybe 8% of the population or so, there is a suture running right down the skull, maybe complete or maybe partial. We don't see it here in the skull, uh, but that's the frontal suture or the metopic suture is the more common term, metopic suture. So it might be a board question. Okay, so lacrimal bone, right? We'll go over the orbits in another video, but lacrimal bone, ethmoid bone, lesser wing of the sphenoid back here. So this is still the frontal sphenal suture here. This is the frontal ethmoidal suture right here. And this is the frontal lacrimal suture right here. The only noteworthy thing here is there's two little foramen. There's an anterior, see if I can zoom in anterior and a posterior ethmoidal foramen for the passage of the anterior and posterior ethmoidal nerves and vessels. Now we definitely got all the nooks and crannies covered. Let's move on to the next video.